This is an update to our best office chair picks for every price point. Ryan is 5'9", Greg is 6 foot, and I am 6 foot 2. Starting off with our best chair under $300, I'm going to pick the Branch Task Chair. We talk a lot about the Tacova at this price range, but the Branch to me has a little better build quality and it has more comfort. And really, comfort is what I think should be the most important aspect that we're looking at. The Task Chair is going to give you seat height, tilt lock, tilt tension, and lumbar height adjustments. Really my favorite feature of this chair though is the high and wide mesh backrest that really keeps the frame away from my shoulders. At $300, I really did consider the Hayworth Assure chair here. This is a recent chair to come into our office from Hayworth. It comes with a really solid warranty. Overall, it's pretty comfortable and fits me well, but the Tacova is still my pick. And the reason for it is that it is just a comfortable chair that is half the price of almost every other option in this $300 price point selling a lot of times at 150 bucks. With a comfortable seat, comfortable back, and a comfortable headrest, it's hard not to go this route again. Yeah, I'm going to be right there with Greg. The Tacova is going to remain my pick for the best under $300. We've brought in a ton of chairs in the last year trying to find something better. We found good alternatives, but you're always going to give something up in this price range, whether it's build quality, warranty, adjustments, comfort. In the Tacova's case, you're giving up build quality and you're giving up customer service in exchange for a ton of adjustments and what I've found to be the most comfortable chair in this price range. So that's what I would recommend. The $500 price point is actually kind of a difficult price point to find a lot of different options. And then for that reason, I think we're probably all going to be around the same pick. Last time I picked the Eurotech Vera, I'm going to stick with that pick. And now with the recent price drop at $439, honestly, I don't think there's a better option around this price range. You get a super comfortable seat, one of the best backrests on a mesh chair that I've tested myself a wide ranging adjustment set, and it also comes with a solid warranty. So 439 bucks, it's tough to beat. I'm gonna go Vera Chair. The under $500 price point is the only one where I didn't have to go back and forth and consider a different option to the chair that I was going to pick. And my pick, just like Greg, is gonna be the Vera. We don't see too many chairs dropping in price, gaining value in today's market. Somehow the Vera did that, and you're still getting one of the most comfortable chairs that we've tested in this price range, and you're not giving up build quality, warranty, that type of stuff. So I think this is a no-brainer pick in this price range. You gotta go Eurotech Vera. Yeah, it really just has to be the Vera at this pick. I just love the built-in lumbar curve in the backrest. It really fits a wide range of users. My wife is about a foot shorter than me, and she also loves the chair. For under $700, my pick is going to be the Hayworth Soji. I did go back and forth between several chairs here just because you have quite a few lower end options from the big major market brands like the Steelcase Series 2 and the Herman Miller Varus. But ultimately, I think the Soji is the best of the bunch. Great adjustability package, really good warranty. It feels well built with very few wiggling parts. Overall, a comfortable chair, and I think it's a very good value. Yeah, I think like Ryan said, at $700, you get introduced to major manufacturers' products that are a lower tier than their premium stuff. So again, things like the Vantam chair, even from Herman Miller, Veras Series 2, those are all really nice chairs. But for me personally, this chair actually was a hard pick not to take last time when it was a little less expensive. The Soji is it for me. I mean, it is as comfortable, I think, as the Vera, but comes with an even better warranty because it is coming from Hayworth. So I'm going Soji. This one's pretty easy. This is actually the price range where I would start considering looking at a premium refurbished office chair. If you find a reputable retailer, you can get one of these premium chairs for 50% off and you're still going to get that same comfort that that chair would have had when it was new. Now, if you're not comfortable buying a used chair, I would look at that Soji. Not only does it have all the great things that these guys already talked about, but it also has eight different color combinations. It's a great looking chair. For under $1,000, the EMEA is the obvious pick here. It's also what I consider the best value in all office chairs. The EMEA has an S-tier seat, A-tier backrest, A-tier arm, so it's an all-around A or almost S-tier chair. Probably the only downside I find with the EMEA is it's a little bit of an average-looking chair, but if you're willing to go up to $41 more, you can actually pick some really nice color combinations and make this a pretty cool chair. For $1,000, my previous pick was a really easy one with the EMEA, but now that the Carmen has come out from Steelcase, this was a little bit more difficult of a pick for me. I actually really enjoy sitting in that mesh chair. However, at the end of the day, it's only an A-tier chair for me, and the EMEA still is an S-tier chair for me personally. I just love the seat comfort, the armrest adjustment, and I think that that live back technology is super comfortable, so I'm going to go EMEA again. 
I'm going to completely agree with everything these guys have said about the EMEA. It's a great chair, super comfortable, amazing warranty, amazing build, great value. But I'm going to switch it up a little bit. For under $1,000, my pick would be the new Zodi 2 from Hayworth without the dual function added because that keeps you under that $1,000 mark. And for me, this is going to be the nicest looking, most well-built chair that you're going to find in this price range. I think it's got a great recline, really comfortable arms, and I really, really love the backrest, especially with the dual lumbar tension control. Super unique chair, so that's what I would pick. For the $1,500 price point, there are a ton of really good options here. Almost every one of the brands, premium brands, is going to have a nice product at this price point. But a lot of you are going to probably call me a Steelcase fanboy because, well, I love Steelcase. I think they make some of the best chairs. And I'm going to have to go with the Leap V2 here. I think it's got the best backrest in the business. I love the four-way arm set. It was close, though. If the fern in the configuration that I liked was available at this price point, I might have gone that direction but it's not, so I'm going Leap V2. So it took me a little while to come around, but the Leap V2 finally won me over. I honestly would have a hard time picking between the EMEA and the Leap, but the Leap does have a little bit nicer flexibility, especially in the backrest, and the Leap also has more lumbar adjustment, a little more lumbar support, so I would pick the Leap, and it's probably a nicer looking chair. The only area that I wish was better was the recline, and my no budget pick is going to crush it in that area. $1,500 and less was a tough price range for me. I really went back and forth between two of the chairs that I consider to be in my top three, which would be the Leap and the Fern. I've been sitting in the Leap a ton lately, and I forgot how amazing the backrest is on this chair. Definitely my favorite backrest. The only reason that I'm going to go with the Fern at this price point is because of its recline and because you can get the chair that I specifically want for under $1,500. So if you get no headrest, no lumbar support, digital knit, you're still under that $1,500 price point, and you get an amazing recline, which I think is much better than the Leaps. And so that would just put it slightly over the Leap for me, and that's why I consider it to be one of my two S-tier chairs. So I'd go with the Hayworth Fern here. After three Hayworth picks in a row, for my no-budget option, we're going to switch it up, and we're going to go with Herman Miller, their Gaming Embody. This is one of two chairs that are currently out that I consider to be S-tier. I've sat in this chair a ton this year, and I absolutely love it. It has the most amazing recline I've ever used. The seat is very comfortable. The backrest is as flexible as they come, and I really like the armrests. They get a lot of hate because they don't have four-way adjustment, but they work great for me. They're large. They're soft easy S tier pick for me, and it'd be my go-to for any budget. If money were no option, I would go with the human scale freedom with all leather. Now this will cost you about $4,000, but it's very customizable. And I love the headrest. I know it's very polarizing, but when you recline in the chair, the headrest kind of supports your neck so that you can still work while you're reclined. It has a comfortable seat. I actually like the arms, even though they don't have a ton of adjustments. I'd love to see that freedom leather chair in my office. Last year's no budget pick for me was the steel case Lomia chair. If you're not familiar, this is a leap cord chair and an Amia seat pad. This is not a sanctioned product from Steelcase though, so it's not a real chair technically. So this year I'm gonna give you an actual pick. But with no budget, there's a ton of different options. Ultimately, I think the one for me though is the Hayworth Fern chair. This is with the digital knit back, just like Ryan likes. I don't want the headrest because it's basically useless, but I do want that lumbar pad, and I like the look of the aluminum on the frame. That's what we have here in the office. With that spec out, just about $1,700, so it won't break the bank. You guys agree with our picks? Maybe we missed something. Let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.